Hi, welcome to this presentation on converting any file or a command output into a nice HTML table. I will be using a bash script to do this conversion on a Mac system, but the process is similar for all Linux and Windows 10 bash systems. Publishing and maintaining data of schools, colleges, organizations, even wholesale shops or supermarkets on the internet can be taken up part-time or even full-time with the script. For using the script, all you need is a small and free Linux operating system like Puppy Linux installed onto a small pen drive of about 1 GB size and then boot from that pen drive on any desktop or a laptop computer. Let me now show you how to download and use this script. First, let me open an internet browser. I am using Safari here. Go to Google. My project location is here. So, Sforge. Source Forge Nathan SR profile. So once you get to the to my profile, you can see my projects. So I just open some more, expand it. You see something called command output to HTML table here. So that's my project which uh, actually gives you the conversion script. So let me open it in a new tab. So I just click download. You can read the instructions here, usage examples, everything is given here. And even the wiki gives you a lot of tips and advanced examples too. But first let me download it. Once this is a, actually the download is a zip file uh, which gets locally which uh, gets locally downloaded. Now uh, the thing is like in Mac it's it's already it now the download you can see it here it's called tablate. But only thing is the the zip file name was tablate.zip but it automatically un uncompresses it. Mac already automatically uncompresses it. So uh, now what I will do is in, go to the explorer or finder here and in downloads folder you can see something called a tablet here normally there will be a tablet.zip file which you have to extract it right click right click the tablet.zip and choose extract option in other operating systems but in mac it does the unzipping automatically and gives you a tablet folder here so the tablet.zip has been converted to tablet folder so i i just what i do next is copy some of my sample data I have a sample data folder here so I let me copy some of the sample uh, data so I just copy my student marks some tab separated list by price list and even a header file so I copy all of them maybe I will copy even the DF so let me copy everything so I copy all my sample data into the tablet folder copy it and then what we do is we open a terminal so there are two ways to do that open a uh, terminal or console on the tablet folder so I can right click my tablet folder and choose new terminal at folder but instead of choosing this I can even do open the terminal first open the terminal first cd download folder this is the parent folder of it downloads and then once you cd into that there will be something called again do a cd of tablet folder so you are changing the directory to the tablet folder and then if you print working directory it's called tablet users and downloads tablet folder now lsf and lt gives you the list of all the files in that folder you have got the tablet.shell script here you have got the tablet.sh script here and some of the sample input data files have got it so that I can test the conversion process. So what I do, I just use the examples on this uh, website, the project website and copy it and just alter it to my requirements. 
So let me first take this example, this uh, student marks.csv example. I just take it, copy it, control C it, and then here command V or something like that. So generally control uh, insert, con here shift insert on the console will work as a paste. So shift insert key will work. Here uh, in Mac control command V also works here. So once I do that, I just quickly go uh, and uh, see that my uh, uh, I'm just cat cat command is to just read the file contents so cat student marks .csv and pipe send the output to dot slash tablet dot sh iPhone D is the delimiter which is the comma in this case delimiter is something which is the character in between your input fields or columns so here I have chosen comma as the delimiter because my fields my student marks .csv is separated by commas and then I choose the title as my school, whatever you want to give the title as and the header as the, the table header as the first term as the header. And I'm sending the output to something called marks.html. I think this example is fine. I don't need to alter it much for my first case. So I just enter it and that marks.html gets generated automatically without any errors. Now what I do is I just again repeat it for another uh, sample data file this time changing everything. So what I do is first I change my input file student marks instead of student marks to CSV I put uh, let's say uh, price separated comma list yeah this should be fine. So I just control C it control V it. So what I do, do is now uh, cat price list comma separated values and pipe it to uh, tablet dot shell and this is also separated by comma because price list comma separated is separated by comma so I, I say iPhone D as comma and iPhone T tablet headings now that's that's the heading you have to change so this is called as price list so let me put the title as price list and this is a price list of some educational books actually so let me put it as books and then send it to pricelist.html pricelist.html that's it so i generate my second file so likewise i have got uh, some couple of more things to do here before i actually show you the html file that has got generated so before i show you that let's go through some more uh, commands so what I do I just uh, go and edit my price list I change my file now to some other file which is called uh, let's say I have chosen the price list already student marks is done some list tab separated there is another list of my input data with with the tab separated fields so every column is separated by tab characters so I'm going to process that so control C control V there uh, or or here command C command V in Mac so uh, cat some ta list tab separated dot text pipe to tablet dot shell and here in the delimiter you have to be very careful about this tab separated uh, delimiter so I've given you an example below if you look at it in this iPhone D is dollar tab dollar this for a tab separated character so I just choose that there are a lot of examples in wiki of special characters of course you can give any other character within double quotes I would say like for example uh, in the in my abo example iPhone D the there was a comma here you can choose pipe or anything percentage or any other character here within double quotes but unfortunately tab is something you have to give like this dollar uh, within single quotes backslash tab so this is called a special character called tab character so this you can't give it within double quotes so you have to give it the, this way so now let's uh, paste that one dollar tab I have given it as dollar tab and this is what is this actually some list tab separated this is actually non-profit organizations list so non-profit list you can repeat the same thing here also non-profit list and send it to nonprofit.html. That's it. So I've generated three of my uh, 
output uh, HTML files. And last is I wanted to check a Unix command, a Linux command, uh, which is like a disk free. If you normally put df-h, you get the disk free values. Disk free in your system, uh, whatever the disk space that is free in your system is reported. So to just take what I need from that output, I'm just doing an egrep, egrep and say I want the header which is called the file system line. So the header is the file system line. So I'll just paste it to command C and command B that file system or anything that begins with slash disk. So I need the outputs of these command alone. So first let me check how it looks like. So I just get my disks, uh, uh, the uh, free space in all my disks alone. I'm getting it and the header also. So once I get this, I just uh, pipe it to dot slash tabulate dot sh the script, which will convert it to HTML, iPhone delimiter. You can give delimiter a space or tab or whatever it is. In my case, it is it is space actually. It is delimited by spaces. So one or more spaces, that doesn't matter. So I'm just saying delimiter spaces. iPhone title is uh, my system. Let's say I'll call this as my system and hyphen header is uh, disk report. Let's say I'll call it as disk report and send the output. Don't forget to do this. Otherwise, it will just dump it on the terminal itself. Send the output to disk free.html. That's it. So I've got four of my uh, inputs converted to an HTML files. So now let's go to the finder. Finder, finder is something which you have already opened. I have already opened the finder here. So once I open the finder, I go into my tablet folder where nearly four of my HTMLs are ready now. So let's see one by one and also see some caveats, some problems which can arise and how to tackle them. We'll see it one by one. So marks.html, I open it in my browser. So once I open it, you can see the title as my school has come. And, and the header as first term. Then there is a search in all fields option there. And then name, uh, all this uh, data is presented here and uh, names, uh, their subject and their marks. Marks are listed here. Uh, I can actually specify any name. I can filter it on any name. Like let's say I filter it on Nathan. So once I do that, only Nathan comes in. So this is a nice filtering option here. I want to say, let's say Howard, Howard, yes. It filters nicely based on the inputs given here. So this is the one thing. So let's open another uh, HTML file now. Pricelist.html. Ah, here if you look at it, there's some problems here. Some characters are showing like this. You can, I think you can see it clearly. Once you, some characters are not getting displayed properly. And the reason is, there is a simple reason for that. By default, I will show you that first. By default, I open this HTML instead of opening it in a browser, I open it in a text file. Right click it, open with and a text editor. So I can you choose either text edit or text mate. I'll choose text mate, which is a nice colorful thing. And in that uh, text mate, look at the some line called character set here. So this character set is now fixed to ISO 8859-1. You can copy it first before you change it. So you can copy and keep a local copy of that. So this ISO 8859-1 supports all Western European characters, but unfortunately misses out on UTF-8 character set. So there is only two choices for you. You know, you, you can use the n number of uh, character sets, but I would suggest Toggling between these two will help you a lot. So instead of ISO, I just say UTF-8, UTF-8 and save this file. Now let's see whether it works or not. So I just go and into my price list.html. Now if you look at it, the characters are gone. The, there were some junk characters, some non-printable characters here. Um, so those are all gone and they have been substituted with hyphen actually, proper hyphen. So this is one technique you need to know. I mean, you need to be able to switch character sets depending on your input data. You must be able to switch to those character sets. So this is one thing. Price list, we have seen the price list. 
we have seen the price list we will see the disk free now so only two disks are reported and here also there is some little troubles like mounted on is having that on is having no data here this is because there was a space there unfortunately another space which got cut I mean this is something to do with the command itself so we can't help it much so this is uh, reporting all the disk space let's go through if there is let's see if anything else is left non-profit non-profit organizations so if you look at it non-profit list of organizations is reported here rank organization the ranks of the organizations are all reported so there are so many organizations here so suppose i want to filter it on anything let's say crr C -R -R -R. so it nicely filters it based on the search term you're giving it can filter it on it doesn't matter how many rows are there it quickly filters on this thing so that's a beautiful feature and if you look at it the title and the header is displayed fine so that's it i think i've covered most of the things so marks.html also i've covered so this is how you have to work with this script file i hope it, it is of much use to you in your profession as well as if you're picking up some part-time or a full-time jobs i hope it is very helpful to you so hope you enjoyed this presentation if you liked it then please press the like button below and also click subscribe. Thanks for watching.